Thank you for attending the Cannabis Investor Webcast. I would like to thank our platinum sponsors, Nemus Bioscience Incorporated, American Green Incorporated, and Technical 420. Technical 420 will be giving away a free stock report to one attendee of this presentation. Please visit technical420.com to view their latest stock reports. Our presenter today is Todd Davis, CEO of Index Corporation. Todd, give me a couple of seconds and I'll make you the presenter. Okay, uh, this is Todd Davis, CEO of Index Corporation. Uh, we are publicly traded under the symbol EDXC on OTC uh, Pink. We're current and transparent, and we are currently in the process of auditing, with, which officially started on Monday with our auditors Anton and Chia, which we will be uplisting uh, to QB uh, in the first quarter of this year if the audit goes well and we get it all done in, in a timely fashion. Uh, just to introduce the company, Derwin, thank you for having me. Thanks, thanks for uh, letting Index have this opportunity to communicate with everybody. Uh, we are a technology holding company and, and proprietary technology developer. Uh, we entered into the medical marijuana space in uh, late 2012 and publicly announced it in early to, uh, 2013. Uh, we designed and developed a few different product lines that are now ready to go to market. The first one uh, is called M3 Hub, up there in the left-hand corner, which is our proprietary software inventory control tracking and compliance platform that allows for any touch point in the industry to connect into the system and become compliant in its respective jurisdiction. Uh, that means that in, in an inventory control cycle, um, it doesn't matter if you're a processor, grower, or dispensary, you will fall into compliance utilizing the system, and I'll explain that further. Uh, M3 Autospence, uh, Autospence Technologies is a technology we acquired with Dispense Labs. It's a tested uh, automated dispensing platform. It's a very large unit. It's 800 pounds of, of vault level security and inventory control that has been tested for the last 20 years in its uh, industrial market applications. We've licensed the technology for uh, medical marijuana and applications in the uh, dispensary and retail levels. M3 Vape and M3 CBD is our consumable division, we call it. These are designed to uh, deliver medical grade CBD through industrial hemp oil versus marijuana that contains THC. And we'll talk about that in a bit. Our M3 Mini is a small design system that will be announced later this year. It was previously mentioned but still under development and we're testing for compliance and, and applications for that product. And our final division is our consulting division headed by uh, Joe Stevens from Greenleaf Compassion, one of the pioneers in the industry, especially in the Northeast Corridor. He was the first dispensary licensee in the state of New Jersey, which unhappily or happily for him, he had to battle with Chris Christie during all his political campaigns and ultimately was successful getting that first dispensary license in the state of uh, New Jersey. There's our safe harbor statement. We will make some forward-looking statements, uh, but mostly we're going to stick to as many material events as possible to give you a good indication where we are today. Uh, Index considers itself a collaboration corporation. We are a small public company. We realize that we can't do everything, and our greatest pathway to success is to engage professionals in their respective skill sets, collaborate with them, whether they be legal, political, a scientific, doctor, uh, or any other ad, uh, aspect of the uh, securities industry. So we do, we do work with a lot of different um, parties out there to develop our products. We don't pretend to be the expert in any one se sector. We engage people that are experts, we collaborate with them, and we produce products that are usable, compliant, and legal within this space. Uh, we have brought uh, pa our past experiences. We have worked with compliance platforms uh, in the SEC regulatory environment by providing uh, real-time document management for Sarbanes-Oxley for uh, large publicly traded companies. That was how Index originally started. 
and that segued into the compliance side of medical marijuana, and since then has developed into multiple different facets. Our mission really is to uh, take the new talent pool that's coming to this industry and create a sustainable, thriving business that allows both our shareholders and our market partners to make and be successful and make a lot of money in this space. Subsidiaries, again, M3 Hub, it's our cloud-based seed to sale platform. It does industry tracking or inventory tracking ma and, and manages the entire life cycle of the plant. So we don't look at it as an office solution, a POS solution, a CRM solution. This is a fully integrated federal, state, and government level uh, compliance platform that allows you to track the genetics, the uh, different strains, the biologics of a plant, the growing process, the people that contact that plant, all the processes that contact that plant in, through its whole linear life cycle. And it tracks that data, collects that data, allows for companies, whether it's a grower, a processor, or a dispensary, to track every single item and every single process that is involved with the life cycle uh, from seed to sale. Through that, it, pre it presents a scientific way to manage your business, a repeatable business practice where you can replicate strain cycles, grow cycles, you can change your administration of how humans come in contact with the plant, how you assemble products and formulations, and ultimately how you sell that product to the, uh, the public through a patient or through a recreational user. Uh, that product is, uh, we're looking for and working with early adoption partners. It's much more complex than what we believe are the, the current solutions that are out there today. And after testing it and getting uh, solid feedback from market partners, we believe it is one of the elite platforms for this industry. Dispense Labs came with Autospens. Uh, we've introduced into it another smaller unit called Mini Spence or the M3 Mini. And we have designed systems that track inventory at that final gateway, which is the transition from the dispensary to the patient or the recreational user. Uh, we did test this for three years in Santa Ana, California, at a dispensary location in a pretty tough market. We were able to build it into an ATM-style booth, test it, watch, uh, watch the patients for that, and the patients and members of that dispensary gravitate from being a uh, visit the bud tender every time they come into the shop to 55% or so of those uh, members of that particular dispensary migrated to using the machine for its convenience, its speed, and its ability to deliver the product they wanted to when they wanted, which included after hours applications. Uh, the mini spence is a, a new vending apparatus that allows for high volume, unique, smaller items, single dose items to be sold inside the dispensary, inside the licensed environment. Uh, it's not quite ready for market yet. Uh, we're still doing testing on that product to bring it up to a compliant uh, status. The most important thing about Dispense Labs is we are seeking market penetration through the eyes of currently the Colorado Marijuana Enforcement Division. And I'll explain that in a minute. Consumables, uh, we've been working with two different product lines. One is a water-soluble oral delivery system, uh, allowing patients to deliver the, the CBD products or CBD-based products from hemp uh, through a uh, oral delivery mucosal membrane delivery system. And the more important product that's going to hit the market here shortly is our oil product, oil-based product. It comes from an eco-farm. Uh, GMO certified from Europe, uh, very clean, it's tested for all contaminants uh, prior to leaving Europe and when it, again when it ra uh, arrives in the United States. We've been testing it both through uh, anecdotal testing with individuals that want to use it from a, uh, a self-therapy uh, and self-wellness standpoint and we are under the guidance right now of a doctor in Missouri. Uh, Dr. Daniel Kitty that's been testing it on patients with diabetic neuropathy. Uh, we did put out a news release yesterday if you'd like to read some of the details on that. But what we did um, see in the first month, which was what we call phase one, it's not a clinical trial, it's a, just a, a simple case study on how it benefits or doesn't benefit an individual patient with their particular symptoms from diabetic neuropathy. And the results were pretty astounding. They came back 
very favorable. There was a consistent reduction in pain with these patients inside the first month. There was better sleeping, better mood, uh, increased mobility, and a decrease in fatigue for the patients. And these were the, the areas that we did uh, monitor for. So through the doctor's guidance and their, uh, their processes, we were able to uh, extract information that uh, invited us to continue the, the trial and the case study and increase the dosage at will for the patients. So we'll give you additional feedback that for that towards the end of February. That product will be available right now. We're setting up our marketing materials, our distribution platforms, uh, market partners, and uh, that will be introduced in February. Greenleaf Consulting has generated us uh, decent revenues starting in August. It's added a solid $130,000, $150,000 of revenue so far. Uh, Joe Stevens has been very valuable in the guidance and direction. He's been able to secure growing, license, growing licenses for our customers in a couple states and dispensary licenses and currently has engaged a few more contracts that will generate revenue this year. Equity profile, EDXC once again is our stock symbol. Uh, we have trade, had a range of trading anywhere from 3.5 cents to 35 cents in the last year. Uh, we've got 212 million shares outstanding. We've developed all of these products for a little less than $600,000 outlay over the past two and a half years. We've maintained very tight controls. Our float right now is 105 million shares, well diversified, over several thousand uh, shareholders. That shareholder base has increased by at least threefold in the last 12 months alone, and currently our market cap is uh, just less than $10 million. Uh, as far as the marijuana market potential for index, we believe this, like everybody on this call, we believe that this industry is poised for some significant growth. Uh, while they did report 2014 as being $2.7 billion, the assumption is, is that the market is much bigger than that. This is the transparent side of the market, the $2.7 billion. Uh, there's significant growth rates in Colorado, Arizona, California, Washington State, Oregon, Alaska have now come online as uh, legal recreational, and it's just going to expand. That, that wave has stopped, and it's not going away. And as that growth takes place, uh, we believe that compliance and tracking is the one core fundamental that's never going to go away and only get more cumbersome for companies that are dispensaries, growers, and producers. That's why we have positioned our, our, our company in that space first, dispensing second, and consumable products third. Uh, the industry as a whole expected to grow by 32% uh, this year and then expand out to $10 billion plus in, by 20 in that first five years of being a, a well-known and early established industry. Uh, real projections look like it's going to be a 30 to $50 billion market over the next 10 to 20 years. And it's just, there's so much upside in the market. Everybody who's in the market right now could potentially be successful. Many will not be. It, it is still difficult to start small businesses and, and grow appropriately with, with the right capital. The familiar map, we've added Oregon and Alaska to the, the legal markets. So we currently have four states that are legal, multiple states that have CBD initiatives both with marijuana, from marijuana strains and from uh, hemp. And then there's uh, the, the legal medical markets are expanding as we speak. Soon we'll be over the tipping point of over half the states being legal one way or another, which continues to put pressure on the federal government for change. Uh, in, these are just some photos of things that we've developed. This is our auto dispense machine over here. This is our installation of the machine at Pure Dispensary in Denver, Colorado. Uh, the reason we went with Pure is they are a super compliant company. They were the first or second uh, legalized dispensary in the state of Colorado. They are expanding right now. They have three medical marijuana dispensaries currently. They're uh, building another one in Eagle, Colorado, which is a large retail and uh, medical facility, and they're going to be upgrading to uh, recreational in all of their facilities. We're testing it there. They're tech savvy. They understand the process. It's about a 100-day pilot program. We've been integrating the uh, technologies, adjusting them from the California market to the, Calif to the Colorado market. 
Our guidance there is our attorney collaborating group, Vicente Setterberg. They've been communicating with the Marijuana Enforcement Division on our behalf. They wrote letters of opinion back in August and September. The Marijuana Enforcement Division uh, had multiple meetings on, on the process here and how they wanted to move forward with us. They granted us permission to install a unit uh, at one dispensary. They wanted transparency and they want the ability to inspect. This is what we wanted to set in place as a, a new standard for the industry when it comes to automation and dispensing and safer practices both for the dispensary and for the patient. So we're looking forward to, uh, we've got our engineering, our final engineering inspection from our side uh, taking place today and tomorrow in Colorado at Pure. After uh, everything tests out and we're ready to go for inspection, we will be calling the MED hopefully next week and scheduling that inspection and then we should be engaging in sales and distribution through that product in the environment of a legal medical dispensary. So this is very exciting. Uh, the, we know how the product works. This, that unit right there is 800 pounds. Uh, through our insurance underwriters, we can insure it as a vault. Therefore, the product does not need to leave the machine every night to be put away. Uh, there's no entry points for theft there. Uh, you can see reinforcements on the equipment from our testing phases where people would try to break in and get that next bin open. Uh, but it, it has become a very secure product that allows for the distribution in a timely fashion of one item at a time, properly packaged, properly labeled, and properly secured for distribution. So we look at this as an employee, a, 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 another employee for the dispensary that increases their volume, shortens their lines, shortens their, their wait time for their patients, and provides them a service that they just can't get uh, necessarily from the human factor. Uh, we believe the bud tender, the doctor, will always be part of the equation, but to, to support them and help that business run more efficiently, they need a device that's reliable, that's industrial strength, and that can deliver uh, in a dispensing platform. Over here on the right, we recently announced a partnership with Vuzix. Uh, Vuzix is a wearable computer technology. We are integrating that into our M3 Hub platform. Therefore, any employee, whether it's in the growing environment, dispensing environment, can wear a headset. Inside that headset there, there's a scanner for barcode reading. There's a camera for filming anything that needs to be filmed. There's an audio input where the, the uh, employee can speak and it's integrating. And you're integrating data in real time inside M3 Hub as you're tracking any given process. So it creates a hands-free environment for computerized activity as you're integrating and communicating with our M3 platform. Very exciting developments there and uh, just good news for them. They just got a $25 million investment from Intel Corporation and they were uplisted to NASDAQ yesterday uh, with the help of our IR team that uh, serves both for them and for us. That's for communications. Uh, here is our starter kits for the original uh, CBD oils. Uh, this is a starter kit. This is our CAN-CAN. We made an investment in this packaging technology. It safely delivers electronic cigarettes in a, a secured environment. Uh, separately, we deliver the oil products properly labeled in, in small 5 milliliter, 5 milliliter and 10 milliliter packages, and that will be available for anybody who wants to purchase short. Uh, brochures, this is what will be circulated out to the market. Uh, it's what we've used at trade shows to introduce our original technology. And it's, uh, it really does highlight what the product does, the efficiencies it provides for the dispensary, the savings. Um, you know, it, it never gets sick. It doesn't miss work. It doesn't complain. It's, uh, it tracks. It prevents shrinkage. It's a deterrent for shrinkage and in cash and in product. It really is an extraordinary device that fits a, a clinical environment, not necessarily um, the recreational, but it, if it works for, med for medical and, uh, and the clinical environment, it will work for recreational all the same. M3 Hub, we went over that uh, extensively. I, I do think that, uh, you know, what we recognize in the M3 Hub uh, sales cycle is since we built a complete platform, we are going at the government level first to get that general adoption, growers second, dispensaries third. 
we know this is a long sales cycle. It's a long introduction cycle. And we're this year we'll be bringing on professionals that specifically handle this one type of sale that can go in at the ground level, show a, show a grower how to use it, how to integrate it, and how to make their company more efficient. Uh, the CBDs, uh, here's a, a sample of the test we just completed phase one on. These were the simple uh, metrics that we used, reduction in pain, increase in pain, reduction in sleep, increase in sleep patterns, energy, mood, and then remarks by the, by the patients. Uh, these are the general ideas. We have, in our product, we have CBD and CBDA. Uh, it's not decarboxylated, so it hasn't been exposed to extreme heat and keeps most of the natural molecules in their original state in the product for the entourage effect. So you can see here it's decreased the pain in all seven out of eight of the patients that were in extreme protocol, but 25 to 75 percent pain reduction in its first month for diabetic patients. And some of those patients are patients that are, you know, taking up to 300 milligrams a day of opiates, morphine, uh, sumatriptan and other painkillers like that, and there has been reduction in, in some use of those that medications just due to the fact they've had relief from what appears to be this product. Investment banking and stock brokerage community for 25 years. Uh, I've worked with over 150 different small public companies. I've run a few of my own. I sit on the board of a couple companies. And I try to bring that experience of more of what not to do and how to do the right things efficiently to the company. And I look forward to, to moving this company forward. Uh, Alan Soutene is a valuable, he's my right-hand man and general partner and general manager in the company. He's been uh, invaluable for the company. He understands every process. He's able to succinctly uh, dissect a problem, fix it, and, and communicate it well to our, our customers. Joe DeRobio is the founder of the Dispense Labs and was the original entrepreneur behind the Autospense technology and did all the original testing of the product in the dispensary environment and just knows a lot of people and a lot of things about the marijuana industry that uh, 20 years of experience you, you just can't buy. Joe Stevens, I've talked about him extensively. He is a solid compliance guy more so than anything else and that's why we brought him to the table. And then Tim Hayes, uh, we don't talk a lot about Tim Hayes. Tim Hayes was a, a business partner of mine from the early 2000s. He was the CEO of a company called SafeScript Pharmacies. He is a pharmacist and practices today. He sat on every board, every, every development in the pharmacy industry for the last 50 years. And he brings uh, the compliance side to how do you track a pharmaceutical grade product, specifically an addictive product like an Oxycontin, or uh, opiate-based uh, products for that industry. So we wrap that, that knowledge and know-how and technology around this system to keep our patients safe. So uh, in conclusion, as far as my presentation goes, we have three product lines that are hitting the market this year. They're fully developed. Marketing, employment, and, and our new employees will be critical to our success and continue collaboration with our, with our partners. So I'll open up to questions on that. What states are you currently operating in? Uh, we've concentrated most of our efforts into the state of Colorado uh, through the compliance platform and the with the Autospence technology. So that's where our that will be our first point of operation. We've spent a lot of time in Canada, Washington, California, and Nevada. Developments there will start. All those states. Can you explain your relationship with Vicente Cederberg and how that is impacting your business? Uh, Vicente Cederberg is more than just uh, our attorney. They are a collaboration partner of ours. Uh, since we don't, they are, they are essentially, they were one of the co-authors for the amendment to the Constitution in Colorado for legalization of marijuana in that state. Uh, we looked at them as a valuable partner. They have many clients in the state of Colorado. Those compliance are the most compliant uh, type of uh, provider, service providers in that state. We wanted to work with them. When we did our original presentations and showed them what we had through M3 Hub and uh, Autospence, they simply looked at us and said, we see nothing like this to date. 
There's nothing this complex. Most of it is just basic framework functionality in the state, and they wanted to, to support it and get behind it. So uh, we signed a collaboration agreement as well as our legal uh, advisory uh, agreement with them, and they've just they've been a tremendous benefit. And, and instead of sending like salesmen and going and pitching why we're the best, we have legal endorsement and legal uh, legal pathways for people to understand it without getting browbeaten about the latest technology. So they've they've just been you know fantastic for us. Next question. While you have an outstanding business plan, what are some of the hurdles to acquiring business contacts and increasing revenue? Uh, we, we don't really have problems establishing uh, business contacts. That's the easy part. It's, uh, it's getting to the point where you're engaging in operational business. Uh, since the business is so rapidly changing and there's so many people getting approached by so many different solutions for whatever part of the business they're in, it's, it, there's a lot of white noise and chaos in the business right now. So where we may uh, negotiate a deal today, it may not manifest for 90 days, 180 days, and it, it ends up extending the amount of time and it makes it an, an inefficient process. So we're hoping some of that chaos settles down, we're able to focus in on a few key uh, components that we want to accomplish to really establish our products as leading products, sustainable products for the industry. So it, it is not without hiccups and without uh, challenges, but you know, th the business contacts that we have made, these are serious people who want to be successful and, and, and do their business the proper way. Uh, next question, what other cloud-based DOJ compliant, companies, compliant software companies are your competition? Uh, there's a few. I, as far as cloud-based, I'm not really sure. Uh, we're one of the only cloud-based systems. Biotrack THC is a competitor of ours. Uh, it's a friendly competitor. We, we have the ability to interface and API with any of these systems that currently exist. Um, MJ Freeway provides services that are also in our system. Uh, AgriSoft, has, uh, we really like what they've done with their platforms. They're a competitor in parts of our system. And Atlas out of um, out of Colorado is a, a bona fide contender within the POS side of the, the equation. So we look at all of them as not necessarily competitors. They're all bringing technology and, and talent to the market, but none of the systems that we've seen so far from our competitors is an all-encompassing and open architecture system where we you can plug in any existing technology to enhance what you already have or easily replace those systems. So that's you know that's what we're looking at as far as competition. And so I, I guess the next question was, what separates you from your competitors? And I guess your mass statement uh, answers that question. The first thing is security. You know, a lot of people don't understand what the cloud is. The cloud is just a a, a different place to host your information. Uh, it's a place where you can't get to patient data, you can't get to company company data. It is hosted in an off-site environment in the same place that our banking institutions and the military uh, provide uh, that store their information. Our, our engineering team, especially Michael Short, comes from that background. Michael Short is a, he's a, he's an intelligent and very professional software engineer. Now, I like to throw this out. He's the grandson of Alexander Graham Bell, a prodigy of that family has developed technologies for the best of the best, including Bill Gates, if you do any research on, on Michael Short. So through Michael Short, we have access to federal level uh, security platforms that ultimately secures the data better than any on-site system or internet-based system. And that, uh, from that standpoint, we're able to provide what would be considered HIPAA compliance and uh, auditing controls and compliance platforms that truly does protect patient data and uh, drug data as well as regulatory data. 